Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to be comparing this Stanley food kit, I guess, food container, um, that we got in a, uh, a battle box uh, to something I've been using for many years. This is from Thermos. It's a Thermos brand version of this. All right, so first off, completely unrelated to here, but uh, you know how Yeti was super popular? Apparently not so much anymore. Everyone's getting Stanley like coffee mugs and you know, water bottles and things like that. I don't know when that happened, but apparently that's a thing. Um, so yeah, so I've been using this guy, this Thermos brand um, food container, that's what I'm gonna call it. I, I don't know, seven years, eight years, something like that. It, I've had it forever with Christina. We've used it camping multiple times. Sometimes I'll just randomly break it out for going, you know, having a picnic somewhere or going to a park or something like that. Um, the Thermos sells for 22 to $25. Just kind of depends on what color. This is a discontinued thing. You can't even find this anymore. In fact, right here is where the label used to be. Um, you can see that little, you know, the line in the middle kind of goes up. But it was just a sticker. It got crappy at some point. It got peeled off. There's a little dent in the bottom. I really like this finish, too. It's kind of a rock marble type thing. Um, but it's held up really, really well over the years. But anyway, this comes in a ton of colors, so the price really just depends on, you know, what color you pick. Uh, but the design, as far as I could see, is exactly the same as it used to be. Um, and this is supposed to hold 16 ounces. Now I have a, a measuring glass over there, uh, which we're going to actually see because I have water in here and see the actual volume because it's a major point I want to make with its size and volume. So this is 16 ounce and the Stanley is supposed to be an 18 ounce. It also says it on the bottom here. All right. Um, where does it say that? It says right there, right at the bottom, 18 ounce, 532 milliliters. All right. And these currently sell for $35. Interestingly enough, if you get it from BattleBox, it's $31. It's the first time I think I've seen something that was cheaper than Amazon from BattleBox. All right. So if you are interested in that, that's where I happen to get this one from. So what I first want to do is open them up and see how much water volume is actually in there. All right. So we have the cup on top, if you've never seen these. And then this is what actually is holding the contents. All right, so this is filled up to the bottom of the threads. Put that down for a second. Take our measuring cup here. Make sure we get all of this in here. Shake every last drop out. And obviously I can't show you this evenly. I'm gonna have to take my word for it here. But I'm, I'm holding it steady for a second, letting that water settle so I can actually see. All right, so maybe you could see that right there, but it is in fact 16 ounces. It's maybe a hair under. All right, but that could be because my hands aren't steady. So yeah, 16 ounces, like it says. Let's pour that out. Then we'll try the other one. The Stanley here, it's supposed to be 18 ounces. All right. Right off the bat, this spoon thing gets in the way. When I go to turn this lid, my hand always hits it, hits these little tines on the spork part. I'm not a fan of that. Take this lid off here. All right, and in she goes. Every little drop. So, let me hold this steady. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually showing 20 ounces instead of 18. All right, and that too is filled up to the, the uh, threads. All right, so there's actually two ounces more that it's capable of holding than it's even advertised. So that's nice, that's a, a nice little bonus here. All right, so I could tell you that right off the bat, in testing these, carrying, using them, yes, this one is supposed to hold two more ounces. As we saw, it actually holds four more ounces, but it is significantly bigger in every single way. All right, so it's not a huge deal, but it's definitely worth noting. Um, I'll get into this one in a second, but first I wanna focus on the Stanley here. So this is my biggest problem with this, is this exposed spork on the outside. Like I said, when I'm opening this, 
that's what happens. My thumb hits this every single time, no matter how I'm gripping it. If I'm holding like this, it's not my thumb, obviously, because my ring finger, pinky, whatever. But it's really just kind of in the way. Um, also, it's a little bit hard to get out. You have to kind of push the bottom sometimes to get that started. The spork itself works totally fine. No issues with it actually functioning. It's a plastic spork. It's a thick plastic spork, so I don't have any issues with it flexing or anything like that. My, uh, my issue, though, is that if this broke, I do not believe that they're selling just the spork as an accessory yet. All right, so that would be a huge problem if this broke. Now, putting this back in, you can see being exposed on the outside here, if you drop this, especially if you have water or food in here, it becomes pretty heavy. If you drop this outside on a rock or something, it's very easy to have parts break. So that would be a big concern, you know, long term. If that spork broke, how you're replacing it. Um, the actual mount on the side, it does have a little bit of play in it. I wouldn't say it's loose or anything, but because it has a little play, like the bottom is not totally sealed. So I don't know, like, I don't know, let's say you have chili and you spill it on the side of the bottle. Can it get under there and, you know, just kind of rot there or smell? Who knows? I don't know about that. Right now, I haven't had any issues with it, really. The bale. There's a bale on the side. This is kind of nice that you can hang it on something, but I've never needed to do that. And I've had this, like I said, for years and years and years. There's no bale. There's no way to hang it on anything, but it's never been a problem. Like, if you really, really need to use a carabiner clip and clip this to the outside of your bag or something, that's cool. I get it. But for now, it's just something that, you know, rattles and makes noise. And again, if you spill sauce or the contents of food in here, it just makes it harder to clean. All right. So from the outside perspective, that's, again, just I don't like the, the spork setup here. I much prefer on the thermos, as you saw before, their little folding spoon, which is super, super cool. That's integrated inside. So nothing's breaking when I fall. You know, obviously it has, you know, taken a couple hits and smacks. I got a nice dent on the bottom, but nothing happens to that spoon. Now, the spoon itself, I think is, is really cool. There's a novelty here because it's a folding spoon. So this folds out just like that. And then this rotates all the way out like that. Now there's two issues though I do have with the spoon. Because it's, it's a folding spoon like this, you can get food in the joints, and I have, especially you're, you're dipping down. Because you could use these lids as cups. I haven't done that. I eat directly out of the container. It's just easier. Um, but uh, when you're dipping down in there, I've had chili, soup, things like that. And the sauce is getting you know, all the way up the handle side, and it does get in, in these little crevices and stuff. So when you're washing this, you really have to wash out those joints. That is kind of a pain. That is a negative for this particular design. The only issue, which is not an issue for me, but if you notice, there's these stop points here. So when you unfold this, it can't go further. Same with this side, okay, because that's bent over. So it's rigid and stiff, but only for righties. So I noticed this, now I eat right-handed. So when I put this in my mouth, it's always rigid. There's nothing, it's not gonna fold on me. But just for kicks one day, I ate lefty. And when I go to put this in my mouth, you know, just eating off of the spoon, it pushes it. It wants to fold just like this from the pressure. So just something to keep in mind, if you do eat with your left hand, that's possible. Okay. It folds in on you, you know, from pressure from putting in your mouth. Now it's not like every single time it's folding. It's just, you know, once in a blue moon, you go to take a bite or whatever, and just, it just kind of pushes over and it's annoying. Righty, not an issue. But, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, the, the fact that it's, um, much much harder to clean than that spork even though it's a huge negative i just i like the novelty so much and the fact that it's just integrated into the lid that i don't care it doesn't bother me enough to uh prefer that one so i definitely prefer the thermos brand you know over the uh the stanley for those few reasons all right now this top thing it just kind of pressure fits in there that's it it doesn't fall out very easily but you know it can fall out now opening this top up here you can see we have a nice seal here, all right? You got to make sure you clean your seals very good. Same thing with your water bottles and stuff. You don't want, you know, any bacteria to grow or anything like that. Um, even though this is kind of thin-walled in comparison to the Stanley, the Stanley has a much thicker bottom. Um, I found no real significant difference as far as keeping things hot. I don't use these for cold stuff. I really only use it for hot items. But in both cases, it stayed piping hot. So you put really hot chili in here, really hot soup or something. It could sit for a couple hours and still be not only hot or just really, really warm. So they're both good in, you know, 
actually keeping products hot. All right, so no issues there at all. Now looking at the Stanley here, all right, take the lid off without hitting my thumb on that. This is kind of cool because this lid, let me pop this off, show the inside there. So as you can see, it is a lot thicker. The bottom, this whole section here, is keeping that insulation. All right, so that's why it's, again, much bigger and bulkier. But what's kind of cool is that the lid also has a little compartment here, so this pops off. So you can put, you know, let's say you are having chili, maybe you put shredded cheese in here. Maybe you're having some kind of soup and you want to put some croutons in here. You know, uh, some oyster crackers, so whatever. I mean, this you could put, uh, you know, condiments, little salt and pepper packets in here, sauce, whatever you want. So that's kind of cool, it's like that. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, well, why is this so shallow? Why didn't they make that all the way the depth to the bottom here? And I still don't really know why. Um, my only guess is maybe they need the thicker plastic here for insulation from the top, but I don't really know because this is the, the first cap and then there's a cap that goes over that. So I kind of feel like they could have probably made this a little deeper, you know, but hey, it's kind of cool that it has this. Obviously, the Thermos brand does not. So that is a pro for the Stanley here. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I, I like them both, but there's, there's always going to be pros and cons to things. Overall, I do enjoy my Thermos. Maybe it's just biased because I've had it for so long and it, I've used it for so many years. I do like this. It's just my biggest issue really is just this spork on, on the outside. Right now, it has not been an issue, uh, except for opening and closing. I just have to be aware of that. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you think. You know, do you have either one of these? If you happen to have both, let me know what you might prefer. I mean, the more the merrier. You know, different things have different purposes. But being bigger and bulkier and having this thing on here, I just, you know, long term, I would much rather this if I'm going you know out somewhere I don't have to worry about it. I could drop it throw it whatever it's gonna be fine um, like I said the, the only real major downside is if I am really digging in and get a bunch of food in those joints and stuff it is it is a pain to clean but I, like I said I'm so used to it, it doesn't really matter um, so yeah I mean I would take the thermos over the Stanley it's obviously cheaper as well that's that's always gonna be you know a big point but you guys let me know what you think I just wanted to uh, compare these for you um, you know, you see these battle box videos and going gear videos, these monthly club stuff. I use the gear. I don't always show it, but you know, at least 75 to 80% of that stuff I'm testing out all the time. And I figured today I just, you know, kind of give you an update on this because I have been using it. I have been testing it. Uh, I like it overall, but just not as much as, you know, what I'm already using. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.